माय नेम इज दास पटेल एंड यू आर वाचिंग दास पटेल ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल वेलकम टू द पार्ट ए नाइन ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिव ए लर्निंग वेबसाइट डेवलपमेंट इन पीएचपी एच विथ पीडियो सो गाइस इन लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वी सक्सेसफुली क्रिएट द कैटेगरी पेज एंड वी ऑल्सो एड दैट कैटेगरी डायनामिकली फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू वर्किंग ऑन सब कैटेगरी सेक्शन so in this tutorial we are going to create a sub category and then we will uh, add that dynamically into the database before we start if you don't subscribe my youtube channel till now so you need to subscribe my youtube channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so hit that bell uh, subscribe button and smack that bell icon so before uh, let's get start before we starting i am going to show you something this is my official new website ajaspatel.com you can visit the, uh, this website this website is about me and uh, you and i am designed that uh, this website and i upload it on online server so this name uh, this website name is ajaspatel.com so you can visit this website and tell me how this website is about portfolio services section about a scale service portfolio contact me youtube resume me and all our all detail about me is here so now let's get back to the work So in last tutorial we will successfully get that one. So in this tutorial we are going to add that uh, subcategory from here. So how can we do that? So simply come back again into the index.php. Sorry. So we are going to uh, copy this one from here by Control plus C and press Control plus N to new file. Select the PHP. And here we are going to paste that file and Control plus S to save this file with the sub underscore get dot php so we are going to save this file uh, inside web uh, www then after youtube e-learning admin here here we are going to save this file okay then also we are going to change the function from here subcat okay and i also open that uh, function dot php page so here is our function.php page so i'm going to come back again from here and um, we need to change something from here so subcat okay so before we get the subcat we uh, also come back again here into the body left section and here i'm going to change this link with the index.php and question mark subcat okay so we are creating here get subcat okay then after I'll come back here and here i'm going to again create one if condition and change the cat with the subcat and here subcat.php also i'm going to change something from here and is not set dollar underscore get subcat okay so now let's check it is working or not so i'm going to refresh it here click on this one so just look at this now call to undefined function just because we doesn't add that function from here but we can get that category subcategory page so i'm going to change something from here with the add sub uh, add category to add subcategory i'm going to again refresh this one from here so just look at this now also i'm going to change this one subcat okay refresh it again so just look at this now and then now i'm going to change this name add cat to add subcat okay so now we need to fetch the categories from the database from here so we need that uh, this category inside our slack tag okay so first of all what we are going to do here just simply come back again from here create a one slack tag with the name uh, give the name like uh, cat id okay 
cat id and inside that option we are going to create one another option from here give it a name like um something like uh, select category okay so now again come back here and create a one function from here with the function select underscore get okay so here i'm going to include first of all database file with the inc slash db dot php okay then after i'm going to add directly create one query with this uh, get cat equal to dollar con then prepare statement inside that prepare statement we are going to fire that query select star from get okay now i'm going to first of all fetching method okay so set fetch mode okay so our set fetch mode is pdo fetch as of okay then after we need to execute that query from here okay so we are going to use execute function from here now we need all the database field name which is coming from here design development marketing so how can we do that so simply we are going to run while loop here and while run after here i'm going to create one variable with the row equal to dollar get cat which is executed so fetch so what we are going to do here we directly fetch the data with this execute function okay from here so now i'm going to echo simply directly from here with the option tag okay so option option tag close just because we already have a select tag here so we all we need only just to add option tag from here okay so double quotes dot dot dollar row and here we are simply define cat name okay so now i'm going to call that function from here to subcat folder or uh, subcat page okay so question mark php php close and here select cat okay we need to echo that function otherwise it does not display from there okay so refresh it from here so i'm going to add that so just look at this now all the categories are coming from here okay we need to add something into our database also go to uh, sorry selection list also so ah uh, yeah here it is just look at this now control c we are going to directly copy that one from here to here and change this input tag to select tag okay so when i'm going to refresh this one again from here so i need to clear the browser history to perform the, uh, perform this one okay so now what we are going to do here just let's uh, clear the history and check it again clear clear data it will be clear refresh that one just look at this now now it's looking very nice okay so change something also from here now it doesn't need that function from here sub category okay so sub cat and sub category and all sub category uh, add sub category so what we are going to do here just simply copy this function from here add this function okay control plus c paste that function from here and change the name with the sub underscore cat okay here also we need to change something sub cat okay also we need to set something some value from here with a value single quote double quote dot dot dollar row we need to get the category id just because we need to add that category id inside here into our sub category table okay just because we add here uh, sub category 
just look at here category id okay so for that reason we need to that uh, we need he, there this one okay we also need to set the value something from here so as it is okay now select star from subcat okay where subcat name equal to subcat name okay so we all we all only only we need to do here is change the name from here okay and here subcategory okay and here also subcat sub underscore cat here subcat sub cat name and then cat id okay so here cat name is available and cat id we need to get that cat id from there so dollar cat id so now what we are going to do here just come back again here see the name cat id this name is cat id so we are going to directly target that one from here with the cat id equal to dollar underscore post then cat id okay cat underscore id okay so now all are working very well here also we need to change something from here subcategory also here sub underscore cat sub underscore cat and sub underscore uh, subcategory okay so now let's try to add that one from here cause our query is perfectly running so just look at here here so first of all i'm going to get that development and add the php okay so add category so just look at here category added successfully you can get the message just look at here category subcategory added successfully okay so when i click on okay so it will be redirect me again from here so now let's uh, try to check here oh man something is missing something is wrong something is wrong with this okay oh yeah just look at here we are at integer here so we need to change that one from here it is by default or directly coming i don't know how it is so save that one from here come back again from here delete that one cause don't need that one again we are going to add that one from here with the php add that one so just look at the category added successfully now let's check okay so just look at this now now we get the value from here and also category id is coming perfectly from there so now again let's try to add something designing web designing okay add that one so just look at this now now the category id just look at the category id too just because our way uh, our design id is two you can see that here design id two so for that reason that will be coming from there most of people are mistake from here so just don't panic here is a very simple process i'm going to again explain you just look at here what we are doing here first of all we create the uh, select tag and then we get the, we give the name or that on that select tag now we need to fetch all the category which is coming into the cat table so how can we do that so simply we are again create one function from here with the select tag oh sorry select query select all from cat and here just see this very carefully just see this category table category id in the option value okay just just for that reason just because we need to add that value directly into our subcat table for that reason we are going to set the value from here and here we add the name of the category okay so it's a very simple process and then we simply echo that function from here Di directly we are going to target that into from here so don't be panic most of people are stuck here don't be panic use your mind go straight go forward and code carefully okay so now our category is uh, is added successfully so i think guys this is enough for today 
if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below support me like the video subscribe the video subscribe the channel and share the video with your friends with your php developer website developer okay so see you in next tutorial in next tutorial what we are going to do in next tutorial we are going to display that uh, category from here and also subcategory from here okay so let's again try to add something <coughs> again from here with the development php so just look at this here subcategory already added just because we set the query here you can see that we set the query here so let's start from subcat where subcat name is equal to this so if subcat name is fine already so it it, it will be given a message like subcategory already added and query will be not executed okay so guys i think that for the, uh, today so subscribe my channel like the video share the videos and if you have any question in your mind comment below and give the review about my new website at touchportal.com also in the comment okay so see you in next tutorial thanks a lot for watching stay connected with me stay tuned goodbye